Okay, yo, what's up? Today I'm gonna be showing you four ways how to improve your GFX. So, if you wanna improve your GFX, please watch this. And also, another thing, if you see the sponsor thing, yeah, this, this thing right here, all you need to do is just buy merch. Uh, yeah, this type of merch, not that type of merch. Yeah, because, yeah, no one is gonna buy that. So, yeah, let's jump right into this. Next thing I'm actually gonna show you, so, it's gonna be actually finding textures and changing stuff. So, like, yeah. So like you know whenever you find an object and blah 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 instead of scrolling like this and like I'm gonna save you up some time so what you wanna do is go into edit mode by clicking your object and let's say for example I wanna know which um place this is at so I'm gonna just click it and it's gonna show up and it's actually gonna be the same for all of this so like this boom like yeah like this boom so that's actually very useful now let's say for example I wanna make this appear here so we we'll, what you want to do is first find the name of this copy it go down here and what you want to do is click this material thingy type control plus d then scroll all the way up till you see it click it and boom now whenever you change the color up here it's actually going to change it down there boom just like that it's actually fairly easy to do and this is going to be helpful for the next thing i'm going to show you so yeah let's go so first thing you can do is actually texture your scene because you can make your GFX go from something simple like this, yeah, ew, yuck, into something more like this. Still, ew, yuck, but yeah, it's much better. So first thing you want to do is go into Blender, blah, 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 because that's the only thing you're going to be using. Click append, find this material thing, it's going to be in the description. It's made by, uh, yeah, okay, that's going to be there. You want to click append, then you're going you're gonna to scroll down, material, and you want to click material 01. Boom, it's in. Now you're like, oh shit, where it is? I can't find it. Yeah, me neither. So what you want to do now is, you need to find the texture itself. So as you can see here, there's wood. And here you don't see wood. So what you want to do is go into edit mode to actually find the texture itself. You want to texture them. Uh, click here. Then you want to go into materials and it's going to be selected. Next thing you want to do is go to materials. Type in mat01 and it's going to show up. Duplicate it by clicking this uh, box thingy. New material. Yeah, boom. Just like that. And... You're gonna open up your shadow editor. I'm just gonna do this. Boom, bam, bop. And this thing is gonna show up. Now let me go into material preview. Set of solid. Oh my god, this is taking a hot minute. As you can see now, it's bricks. Yeah, no one wants bricks. So remove the bricks and find uh, wooden planks. Pretty sure. Yeah, sir. Okay, next thing. Yeah, you're just gonna do it to the entire scene. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna speed this one up. All it is, to be honest, is just um, redoing everything. And each time you actually add a material, you wanna actually duplicate it again because it's actually gonna have this huge conflict and stuff. And <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so yeah. If you guys actually don't understand this video, please join our Discord server because I don't know what's going on here either. Neither. <laughs> and also you can change the color by clicking color, boom, and switching it up. Just like that. Yeah, is it. Also, be sure to actually know the material itself you're going to be actually using. So, planks. Stop DMing me, my phone. Damn it. Okay, so wooden planks. Uh, what is this? What? Okay. And boom, just like that, you're done. So yeah, on to the next tip. For this next step, it's actually not going to help you improve GFX, but it's going to help you, like, actually um, do stuff much more faster. So, have you ever just had your, like, map scene all, all the way over there or something, object? It doesn't matter, to be honest. So what you want to do is click shift plus s no i'm sorry you want to go ahead and click object set origin geometry to to origin just like that and boom it's at the center you can actually bring it up now and it's actually not gonna have that like weird effect i guess you can call it whatever you want to call it it's not gonna have this thing it's actually gonna have this which is actually much more useful i guess so yeah next tip for the last and final tip it's gonna be color correction. I say this many times because people actually don't realize how much color correction actually affects your scene. 
So as you can see here, I have my adjustment layer. There are many stuff you're like, oh, this is confusing. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna use a pack. Like, you see, you at least saw at least once one of one of these packs, one of these, one of these, at least once, and they had a color correction in it. Don't use it. Like it's good, but it's good to actually make your own. So I'm actually gonna show you basics of stuff you actually need to know here so it's actually fairly easy just play around with it and you'll get used to it so first thing i do is add a vibrance no actually no i'll do that last one second okay boom bam bop so first thing i'm gonna add to this scene specifically you don't need to follow my like instructions you can play around with all of these i'm just doing it for this thing specifically so yeah brightness and contrast that's the first thing i'm gonna do is um bring up the brightness lower the fill and add an exposure and bring that up a bit and load the opacity for that next thing i'm gonna add is a gradient map and i'm gonna change it to maybe black and white yeah sure why not and i'm just gonna randomly pick something that would look nice so maybe color burn and lower the opacity no no it looks ridiculous let me see and we can go ahead and pick soft light why not then I'm gonna load the opacity for this also as you can see big difference and the last thing I'm gonna add is a vibrance to bring sort of light because this is a piggy map so it will make a little bit of sense because I will remember it being a little a little white I guess and that's CC to be honest you can play around with all these like color balance you can see bluish then mix it then red there's many things you can do with color correction people don't even realize it people use like free color correction and actually don't learn so i recommend you actually take some time like i don't know maybe an hour that's all it takes and actually play around with all of this and you actually get used to it so this is actually it i hope these tips actually help you if it does tell me in the description please i need to know and also if you want to help out buy some of our merch not actual merch you're not gonna buy it anyway so it's actually roblox merch in the roblox website well it's not surprising but yeah it's five robux each helps us you'll be in this tab again i don't think i said it but yeah thank you guys for watching i'm done i'm going to sleep so yeah bye